Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be importing textures into Godot 3. Just like 3D models, there's two ways that you can import textures. You can drag them straight into the engine, or you can drag them into the project folder. Anytime you bring a valid file into Godot, it's also going to generate an import file. As of right now, there are nine different file types that you can import as textures. JPEG, Targa, PNG, BMP, WebP, EXR, HDR, and SVG. For normal texture use, JPEG, Targa, PNG, BMP, and WebP are going to be used. And then EXR and HDR, those are usually used for cube maps or skyboxes. And then SVG, that's for vector art. Now in Godot, whenever you double click on one of these files, you'll get an image preview. And if you click on it once, you'll see the import settings. Now I'll do a quick rundown of the import settings, but we'll go into more detail as we get to more relevant topics. Now with the import settings, you can edit one of these files at once, or if you want to select multiple ones, you can bulk edit. And whenever you change any of these import settings, you're going to want to click on re-import to re-import the textures. Now one of the first options we have is size limit. What this is going to do is it's going to limit your resolution. Sometimes this is used for optimization. If you leave it at zero, your resolution will be unaffected. Detect 3D, if you're using a texture on a material that's being used on a 3D object, It'll detect it and it'll adjust your settings appropriately. Next we have the compression modes. Chances are if you're doing 3D, you're usually going to use video RAM, but you do have lossless, lossy, and uncompressed. Then we have whether or not to detect if it's a normal map, and then under flags, we have repeat. Now this chooses whether or not your texture is clamped, or if it can go past that 0 to 1 UV. And then for filtering, there's only one option, on or off. This is going to appropriately smooth your texture, unless you wanted something more stylistic. Now with MimMaps turned on, as your texture gets further away from you and smaller on the screen, lower resolution textures will be generated and blended in, helping reduce artifacting. You will need to make sure you're using Power of 2 textures, 32, 64, 128, that kind of thing. And then you're also going to want to make sure that Repeat is enabled. In Anisotropic filtering, if this is turned on, it'll help reduce blurriness as textures become more parallel, like on a table or a flat surface. And then sRGB, this is kind of a big topic. But a good rule of thumb is, if you're using a texture for color, you want to enable this. And if you're using something like a mask that's just black and white, you want this turned off. So once again, as we get into other topics, we'll cover these import settings again. Alright guys, this covers importing textures into Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.